Hey. 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 Get it. You owe me two hundred sixty dollars for the picture. How much money was that? Three hundred thousand. It is kind of late, you know, I like to tell you guys the time, okay? It is almost 11 o'clock at night. Before I start running my mouth, calm down. Calm down, everybody. Just calm down. It does not cost you anything to give the video a thumbs up. Just, you know, just boop, 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 boop. Hit that button, boo. And if you are just so brave and you're just in a mood, you know, just hit the post notification so the next time I upload, you are in the know. So with that said, you know what I have on deck. Um, we have three different types of cheese. What kind of cheese do we have, Bobby? We have Gouda cheese, a Fontina cheese, and a Havarti cheese. So I believe this is Havarti, Fontina, and the Gouda is in the middle. I also thought about bringing some, getting some ham, but uh, I didn't feel like it. I wanted bacon. I was in the mood for bacon, and I do my grilled cheese several different ways, but sometimes I like to put a little crust on the outside of my grilled cheese, and I'm going to show you how I do that. Look at my cute little butter dish. Okay, this is show-off time. This is my butter dish that I made a while ago. It says butter, butter. Who's this, Mabel? Hand me my other butter dish, Bobby. My new butter dish. I just made this one. This butter dish took me about eight hours. No, I do not make them. No, I do not sell them. I do not. <laughs> so I'm not sure the things that I would do differently. And then there's a quote on the inside. And I always sign my work. So, you know, you start to get creative during um, quarantine. I have this heated up to 300 degrees. I don't know if that's too much. I do not want to get burnt because she does not play, honey. So, I'm going to move my little butter over here, okay? I just want to show you what I do. What I do. And I feel kind of low for this. So, I'm going to butter my... Oh, Bobby, we didn't get the garlic salt. And sometimes I like to sprinkle a little garlic salt on the outside mm -hmm. of my bread. And I'm going to show you the other thing that I do. So, I'm just going to sit the bread right there. Just calm down. I got you, sis. Just calm down. I'm buttering my bread. I should probably have this buttered before. So, let's just see. I'm going to show you. And this is... um, And we leave our butter sitting out. It doesn't last long around our house, child, at all. Butter, oof, child, that butter was going fast. And I have not sat this on the grill yet because I'm going to show you something. So calm down, just calm down. So Bobby and I, I'm not going to eat three sandwiches because I want to try all three of the um, different types of cheese. Bobby and I are going to split this, okay? We're just going to split them. And I haven't had dinner. I ate once today. I ate a little bowl of some curry. So I just put, I just sprinkle a little bit of salt on the outside. So I'm gonna push my hair back. And then this is Parmesan cheese. Shredded Parmesan cheese, right? So you take the cheese and you just put it like that, right? Because now you're going to get a nice little crust. And you put this face down. <laughs> there you go. Because the cheese will stick to the butter. Okay? Which one do you want? The Fontina? 
You want to do the fontina without that? Okay. Fontina is kind of salty. Uh, no. And we'll do one without. This is the fontina. So on this one, I'm going to do the Havarti because the Havarti is not salty. And I'm going to do the Havarti with a little bacon. Okay? You want bacon on the Fontina too? On the Fontina too? And sometimes you need cheese on both sides. Oh, let me put some more bacon. And you want to get a nice little crust on your parmesan cheese oh i can smell it let's see what we got oh i need a spatula let's see what i got Ooh, needs a little more so you just you have to have cheese on both sides to act as a glue okay so now we got that i'm gonna put our other bread down here let that Huh. And this one is the Fontina. Okay, so these are cooking, and I'm going to start the third one with the smoked Gouda cheese. And I'm going to put that one, I'm going to put a little bit of green onions on that one and bacon. Okay. And the gouda is not too salty, so put a little bit of, just a little bit, not much. Turn this over. Look at that. Ooh, nice. Got some green onions. Just a little bit, a little flavor. And the cheese will make everything stick together like your glue. Hot. And I have my favorite pickles on deck, the Clawson pickles. They're so good. They're kosher pickles. I love the Clawson pickles. So. Okay, so I'm going to take these off. And Bobby and I, the Gouda is taking a little, little bit. Just leave that on. I'm going to take this one is the Fontina. This one, Havarti. So here we go. That was not bad. That was kind of quick. I got my pickle and I'm drinking dandelion. I had my, it was funny, my daughter and I was saying, said dandelion. This is dandelion tea from Connie Child. She sent me a ton of it. So this is two, um, two packets or two, what? Tea bags, dandelion, lemon, and honey. And I just poured it over some ice. All right, so let's get into this bite. This is the Gouda here. Look at that. So this is the Gouda, mmm, with the onion, mmm, 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 mmm.
Everybody gonna smoke gula. Mm. You know what? As I was eating it, I think that would be great to dip in some Alfredo sauce. I'm a dipper. That would be great to dip in the Alfredo sauce. Okay, and this next one was, ooh, this Havarti. Look at that. Okay. Y'all know me in the cheese bowl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the Havarti with bacon and um, lightly toasted with the Parmesan cheese. Mmm. Okay. Mmm. Is this a Harvardi? Mm-hmm. Mmm. That Harvardi is good. I'll tell you. Mm -hmm. That Havarti and that Parmesan crust on the outside, great combination together. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Keep that there. Was good. Clean the palate, honey. Ooh. Okay. So this is the Fontina. Mm hmm. Mm. Reminds me of a Swiss. The Fontina is good. I wish I'd done an outer layer with the Parmesan cheese. This one is tough, guys. Ready to try the Fontina, Bobby? Mm hmm. Hmm? So, you tell me your order? Okay. And once in a blue moon, I'll put tomato on the grill too. Not often. I'll pick them. Mm. Mm. Those pickles are good. Okay. So how do you rate them, Bobby? In which order? Mm. Let me see. Ooh. The gouda with the onion was good. I'm gonna go back to that. The gluten with the onion, it gave it a more savory taste. But I'm gonna go Havarti, Gouda, Fontina. Oh. I get Havarti, Fontina, and then Gouda. Gouda last. Mm-hmm. Still good. Cause I feel as though the um 
smoked gouda was a little dry on the drier end. That's why when I first bit into it, I wanted to dip it in something. Mm -hmm. I see that. But the Habardi was good. The Hardy would be good with ham too. Mmm, and that olive crust with the parmesan is busting. Bussin'. <laughs> Why you look at me like that, Bobby? <laughs> so, leave it in the comment section below. How do you hook up your grilled cheese? Mmm. What other things can we try? I've tried chopped up chicken on grilled cheese. More or less chicken and, and um, cheddar. This is weird. I did this when I was a teen, early teen. I picked it up from some somebody else. I do, I like open face grilled cheese sandwich where you have your bread, just one slice of bread. And, and you put American cheese, you put a slice of American cheese on the bread. Right? No butter. Your bread, your cheese, and you put it under the broiler. And the American cheese will puff up like a like a bubble. And I like for it to get dark, dark, dark brown. And then once it comes out, you can't walk away from the broiler. You put your butter on it and the bubbles start to go down. You put your um butter on it and then you sprinkle it with sugar. Weirdest thing ever, but fell in love with it as a child. Mm-hmm. Um, I may remember it maybe once a year. It's good, right, Bobby? I call it open face grilled cheese sandwich. Oh, the sugar? Mm. And you don't like that one? You did when you were younger. Yeah, I think I got old, like I ate it too much. <laughs> but it's like to go back. It's fun. All right, guys. Mmm. Baby. Mmm. Mmm. That was delicious. All right, guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Like, comment, share. Do not forget to tell me what you put on your grilled cheese sandwich. How do you hook your grilled cheese sandwiches up? Maybe I'll come back and try your, your recipe. And I um, lo lo would love to try it. So give the video a thumbs up, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And until next time, later.